Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today in this session we are going to discuss artificial intelligence, partial order planning that is simply known as POPs in AI. So partial order planning ke saath mein we will discuss its needs with the help of some easy examples. So now let's just start the session. As you can see here, partial order planning is nothing but it is a planning method used in AI to create some plans or action sequences where not all the actions are strictly ordered. Right? This is the basic introduction of partial order planning. Simply we can say POP is like a to-do list where only some tasks must be done in a fixed order. It is useful in AI for building flexible and intelligent agents that can handle all the real world uncertainty. As you can see here, instead of fixing the full order of actions from the beginning, POP allows some actions to remain flexible. This is the major advantage why we use partial order planning. It plans, it completes our given task, but in a flexible way. It never follows a proper sequence. It never follows a proper plan, but it always gives us a best result. Clear? So it allows some actions to remain flexible, deciding the exact order only when needed. This help makes, helps make plans more adaptable and efficient. Now let's just take an example so that everything will be clear to you. So, <clears throat> Let's take an example. My goal is to make a cup of tea. We have some actions here. To make a cup of tea, we must have to take some actions like we have to boil the water. We have to put water in the kettle. Take care, we have to add tea bags or tea leaves there. We have to pour. We have to pour the water in the cup. Right? This is a proper sequence. Now, if we, if we make use of partial order planning, we can do the same task in a different way. Like at first, put water in the kettle. I will not boil the water somewhere else. I will just put water in the kettle and then boil the water. Pour water in the cup separately. Add tea bags or tea leaves. So, here this is how our planning system, partial order planning system works. So, here the planner does not fix whether add tea bag happens before or after boiling the water as long as it is before pour water in the cup. So, here partial order planning just tells us that we have to achieve the goal. It doesn't mean you have to follow these strict rules or strict sequences. Clear? If we compare partial order planning with total order planning, so we can say partial order planning, only necessary orderings can be followed here. But if we talk about total order planning, so fixed order for all the actions must be followed. If we talk about efficiency of both, so POPs are more efficient and total order plannings are less efficient specifically for large plans. If we talk about their concurrency, so they allow concurrent programs to run simultaneously but total order planning does not allow concurrent programs or concurrent tasks to work simultaneously. So I hope students everything is clear to you till now. Next we have, why do we need partial order planning? So basically, here are some needs. The first need is it is flexible as compared to total order, order planning. Here the planner does not force a strict order unless necessary. This makes plans easier to adapt. Let's take a real life example here. Let's uh, say we have two students. राइट right. एक स्टूडेंट है जो कि फ्लेक्सिबल टाइम के अकॉर्डिंग पढ़ते हैं सुबह मन कर रहा है रात में मन कर रहा है व्हेनेवर ही फेल्स वो उस समय पर पढ़ेंगे और दूसरे स्टूडेंट है 
वो एक स्ट्रिक्ट रूल को लेकर के पढ़ते हैं कि मुझे सुबह छह से नौ बजे तक पढ़ना ही है चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए और अगर कभी वो लेट उठ रहे हैं छह की जगह आठ से नौ उठ रहे हैं तो सब काम डिस्टर्ब हो जाएगा तो टोटल ऑर्डर प्लानिंग में स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स फॉलो किए जाते हैं जो कि ना तो फ्लेक्सिबल होते हैं नॉर दे आर एफिशियंट सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट पार्शल ऑर्डर प्लानिंग दे आर मोर फ्लेक्सिबल एंड मोर एफिशियंट सो इट अवॉइड अननेसेसरी डिसीजन so pop only focuses on important action ordering it allow parallelism so since not all actions are ordered some steps can happen at the same time that is called your concurrent actions that we have discussed earlier when comparing these two next is better for complex tasks so in large or certain environments pop handles planning more naturally than step by step method that is why it is better for so many complex tasks all clear everyone now let's just talk about some other points like how pops work so here is the step by step process at the first step start with an empty plan start with an empty plan just a start that means just you have to start your task and you just have to set your goal this is your empty plan theek hai like my goal is to clear upsc in my first attempt or my goal is to attempt you uh, clear upsc in one year theek hai so this is my empty plan i have started studying and i have set my goal that is under one year i have to clear upsc examination in the second step add necessary actions insert some actions that help reach the goal like you have to make notes you have to check for good books right so these are the necessary actions next we have is link the actions okay so use casual links to show how one action supports another link action means if i am preparing for upsc i am starting with one topic and simultaneously i am revising that topic's pyqs this is the link action another is check for the threads ensure no action undoes something needed action 5 includes resolve ordering resolve ordering means any order only when actions conflict or depend on each other we have to resolve orders at that particular time and sixth step is your to repeat the task until all preconditions of all actions are satisfied we have to repeat the same task again and again theek okay? hai because of this repetitiveness uh, repetitiveness partial order planning are also follow usability property the same partial plan can work in different situation that is called reusability clear so all these are important steps under your partial order planning we have already discussed about the difference between partial order and full order planning or we can say total order planning why we use partial order planning in ai everything is discussed here so now let's just end the session thank you so much everyone and all the very best